Kazi Minamino's first year as a Liverpool footballer has been played out largely free of pressure. Arriving at the start of January with the Reds in the commanding position at the top of the Premier League, the Japan International has been afforded ample room to get up to speed with the demand of playing for Jurgen Klopp. There was little to no expectation of Minamino to hit the ground running following his transfer from Red Bull Salzburg on January 1st. Instead, there was an acceptance that it might take some time before he was able to show the kind of form that saw Liverpool take him out of Austria. Fabinho and Andy Robertson were two worst rises to Anfield stardom were not complete overnight and Klopp and his staff were relaxed about the prospect of Minamino trading that same path at the turn of the year. I cannot forget his words, two or three days after joining the club, he said I could play in any way I want to play and he said just enjoy playing in any way you want to play, Minamino said of his manager. Concessions were made to help ease their new £7.25 million man into the fold when he arrived on Mercy's side speaking a little English. The Liverpool squad, as has become tradition, said in Nadir Minamino with a rendition of Happy Birthday in Japanese when he turned 25 in mid-January. Inside the dressing room, the decision was taken to place Minamino's number 18 shirt in the middle of the number 8 and 10, worn respectively by Nebi Keita and Sadio Mane. The thinking was that Keita and Mane's connection with Minamino's former club would help him adjust into formative stage and his new one. Mane has taken Keita under his wing over the last two and a half years, and the informal plan was to do the same for Minamino. You know that you are a part of the team, but because my English is not good enough yet, their help has been really important, Inamino said in February about Keita and Mane. They are still helping me on some occasions, and during the first day, they told me the team rules. They like what time the meeting started and how team function on a daily basis. Conversations with Klopp, at least in the inn, the early part were conducted in Germany as Minamino continued to learn English after training. The Osaka-born frontman was also encouraged to launch an Instagram account to help bring him closer to the club's fan base from around the world. The suspension of football in mid-March, however, was likely to have impacted Minamino more than any other in the squad. As the Liverpool players pack it up and prepared for the uncertain future that awaited him, Minamino, like his teammates, was given an individual training regime to adhere to during lockdown. Being alone in a city center apartment without speaking much English will have been tough for any 25-year-old living nearly 6,000 miles from his family back in Japan. The WhatsApp group and Zoom yoga sessions will have been invaluable as he got to grief with life in Liverpool. Food parcels from the club's nutritionist, Mona Neymar, were also understood to have been important following the temporary closure of the city's Japanese restaurant. If we didn't have Mona during the lockdown, I'm pretty sure that the majority of players will have starved, Klopp said of Neymar back in July. Minamino attempted to immerse himself in the culture of his new home by walking through the city center and visiting the various Beatles-themed tourist attractions. Liverpool had tracked Minamino since his days with Kerizo Osaka and it was sporting director Michael Edwards' relationship with his Salbur's counterpart, Christoph Field, that alerted the club to his relatively modest release clause. Manchester United, AC Milan, and Borussia Mönchengladbach were all scouting Minamino when the Reds moved quickly. After talks accelerated in November last year, Liverpool privately believed Minamino's failure to be three times that of the release close and moved to ensure they would not be beaten to the punch. With Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, and Roberto Firmino providing Liverpool with a cutting edge and the subsequent arrival of the red hot Diego Jota, it's been difficult for Minamino to truly impose himself at Anfield. 
The versatile forward has shown flashes of quality across his 29 games so far, but not enough to truly catch fire in Liverpool Red. His performance in Saturday's 7-0 hammering of Crystal Palace, however, was the biggest step forward to date. Minamino started the road early on with a smart touch and finished before completing the game in full. He played a top game and had a nice finish, Klopp said. He is in a good moment to save him to use him. I saw him in the dressing room after the game and you couldn't avoid the smile on his face. 12 months on from Minamino's signing, he now has the best chance, yet to show he was right.